So I had an opportunity here to show you the difference between the XCR and the SCAR, both of which were potentially, you know, candidates for the SCAR program. The 17, of course, being the victor because the XCR didn't even really get submitted due to the lack of blank firing adapters, but disassembled. You can see that they were kind of going for the same goals. And so let's go walk through this. So here's the XCR stock. Actually, the stock has a, a similar level of adjustability with comb and length of pull, but this gun is a little different in terms of the actual disassembly. So. Um, there's a spring, the actual recoil spring itself has a little button on it, I should say a little, that you depress forward, which then opens the upper and lower receivers, and then that spring pulls out, and then out comes from the rear your entire bolt carrier, bolt, and your long stroke gas system, and then with one little pin, your firing pin comes out as well, this is spring loaded, and that goes back into that, and that is all of that. So here on the XCR, we have the rifle. We have the recoil spring, the gas piston, the bolt carrier, the bolt, and the firing pin assembly. Now let's go over to the SCAR-17. SCAR-17 is a little bit more complex disassembly, but not a lot. So this pin punches out, this fire control group comes off, the stock slides off of that, and then you can see the stock is now disconnected from the upper receiver, and that's your field strip element. Then all of this pulls out, the charging handle comes off because it can be changed from left or right side per shooter's discretion. The recoil spring right here, very similar actually, in terms of that it comes right out of the gun. Then you have your bolt carrier here. Now this is a short stroke gas system, so you don't see a piston here. That's still up here, the gas system's retained in the upper receiver. And then after the carrier comes out, you punch a pin, your bolt, your firing pin, and all your little retention pins. But you can see that these guns are very similar in their intended goals and purposes, although they approach them from different perspectives. Here's a comparison of the XCR bolt versus the SCAR bolt. The SCAR, of course, more stoner influence. This is more AK influenced with three locking lugs um, and a very large extractor. No gas piston or gas rings, of course, because it is a short stroke gas system. But the similarities are uh, pretty much there, and I thought you guys would find a little short tour of the different parts of the SCAR 17. And the XCR and the similarities and lack thereof. Thanks for watching.